Oh god, not the sleeping beauty wheel. Don't touch it, you will die. Today is the cooking exhibition. Let's go to the tree depot between 10 and 1. I don't think we'll be doing that because we do not have anything uh, prepared for that because we don't even have a freaking kitchen in this place. So we're not going to be doing that. So welcome back to Story of Seasons. Woo! Exciting. We got a thing of wool yesterday, which you guys obviously did not see. But... That means that we have five things of wool, finally. So that is really exciting because we can make the sewing studio, which we are going to do right now. Ah, there we go. We got it all. And now we'll have a cutscene. I love how that guy just shows up. Yo, I heard you were building some kind of studio, so I came by to lend a hand. Who did you hear that from? I just decided that this morning. Okay, let's get to work. I'll give you some pointers as we go, so do like I tell you, okay? Yes, throw the wool on top. That is what you do. You throw it on top of a bunch of stuff, and then you just take a hammer to it, and that's how you build buildings. I know. Who would have thunk it? I love how he says he's gonna help, but he does nothing. He stands there and makes expressions. It's like a montage from a bad movie. Good job, that's a fine piece of work you've done. Thanks, Mr. Mustache. Alright. No, we need to, like, move it. We gotta find it. Oh, I guess I didn't. Okay. This always just cracks me up. I'm, like, holding it above my head. Hmm. Really? That would be a terrible place. Wow, I don't... I don't even think I have a place for it. Except for, like, right here. Which is a terrible spot for this. <sighs> Alright. Hold on. Can I move trees? No. Well, that just ruined everything. Maybe if I get rid of this rock, I can do it. Let's do that first. <laughs> And then see. Okay. Let's see if there's room here. Hope there is. Shut up, sheep. Why can't I put it here? Oh, I don't understand. I don't really want it here, but this is where it's going for right now. Oh, that's so annoying. It's in the way. Alright. At least, I mean, that's a little better. But jeez. It's like... Maybe if I get these rocks out of the way, I can put it over here. I don't know if it'll let me, though, but we'll see. Just need to get this crap taken care of. But the problem is... I don't have that great of tools, like... My hammer and axe aren't that great, so it takes a lot of stamina to pretty much do anything. 
So that's kind of annoying. Hey, sheep. Okay, so this is the sewing studio. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, accessories. Oh, I have like no blueprints. Well, I can make a ring. 12 hours, holy crap. Well, this takes a whole day. Silver and fluorite. I think that's... I think that's the ring that you're supposed to... Give your significant other at some point. Like a promise ring. But I'm not sure. And then... Sewing machine. Oh my gosh, we have stuff. We can make stuff. I want something amazing. Like a purple checkered jacket. To <laughs> so I can look like a pimp. Um... Oh, we don't have an alpaca. I guess we can buy cloth, probably. There's a lot of stuff to make. Oh my gosh, I could pretend to be the doctor. Get the white doctor's uniform and just go around and be like, I'm a doctor! That is malpractice, I think. Um... Oh. Okay, so I can make cloth from... colored yarn. Okay. So, okay, so I dye the yarn here, and then take it here, I think? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. And then that makes the cloth, and then... And then I can make stuff here with the cloth, but some, some things you need alpaca. Wool instead of just sheep wool, so... Important things! Oh god, not the sleeping beauty wheel! Don't touch it, you will die forever. Oh, we need alpacas! Besides, they're cool. I mean, besides the obvious of needing an alpaca, who doesn't need one, but like, oh, they're so cool. We need one. So, since we're not going to the cooking festival, plus, I don't know if the mine is open on a festival day, because a lot of the shops aren't, so it probably isn't, so I think I'll just use my stamina working on these rocks. Because that's an exciting thing to do. Especially for YouTube. <laughs> to be fair, this is a farming sim. I mean, like, what do you expect me to do? Something amazing? Because that's probably not going to happen. Because it's just me. Eh, at least we got some traders coming tomorrow. Did I do everything? Yes. I wonder... Who sells alpacas? Like, oh, what? Antique shop has new stuff. Okay. He keeps getting new stuff. I'll have to go, like, visit him or something. Nope, not the- I do not want to jam the pitchfork into the sheep. I really like my sheep, actually. Willow likes me a lot, I think. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. No, see? That sheep likes me more than my other sheep. Oh wait, no, that's not true. <laughs> I got them backwards. My freaking horse is in love with me. It's making me uncomfortable. You know what I decided to do though? Since I have one patch of grass outside, I am only keeping one animal outside because I'm wondering if like, I don't know, this is just like me probably overthinking it, but I'm wondering if you have to have, like if you have three animals outside, you have to have three patches of grass for them to be able to eat it. I, I don't know if that's true. That's just kind of, what I'm thinking. So I guess we'll see. But my sheep seems to like it outside anyway because she is an active little sheep. So she likes being outside. My other sheep is cowardly, I think. So she doesn't like to be outside. Also, she's gonna have a little baby. Oh, guys, I figured something out. Um, so Rieger likes this grass drink thing. I actually got three of them because I did a request at the Trade Depot. I think, I don't remember, I think it was Silk Country wanted like eight milks or something like that. Um, I always try to do those requests because they give you extra items and a lot of times they're items that you can't get yourself really that easily. Like one time I got eggs, which I obviously don't have any chickens, so I, I can't really get eggs right now. But yeah, I got three of these grass drinks, and Rieger likes them, so I gave him one already, but here's the second one. Love me. Go away, Fritz. Don't cock block me, Fritz. 
sick of your shit. The, is there a mashed potatoes shortage? Like, Silk Country really wants mashed potatoes? I was so crazy about Lily, I almost didn't notice a fence. She's good looking too, isn't she? Sir? I'm gonna have to tell a fence that you're all up on that. I'm upset. I really... wanted... to get an alpaca. And I can't, and it's sad. Because nobody has them. I don't... I, I don't know if a new trader is going to have them, or if uh, one of the other ones will get them eventually. I don't know, but I want one so bad. Ooh, flax seeds. A crop that grows well year-round, used for making clothes. Uh, takes seven to eight days to harvest and produces up to... Mm, shiitake seeds. I don't even know how to do that. Also, mushrooms creep me out. Sounds weird, but they really do. Also, they smell. I think I'm gonna buy some flax seeds though, because I can use them for uh, in the sewing studio. So, get a bunch of them. Let's see if there's any new blueprints. Probably not. Nope. Nothing. I wanna make a pet house soon. Cause I want a puppy. <laughs> not even gonna lie. I want this, like, fat bunny. I also really want an alpaca, but I guess that's not in the cards now, is it? Okay, so I've planted the flax seeds here because they'll grow well all year. Um, soon my sweet potatoes and eggplants are going to wither because it is almost winter, which is crazy. We are getting through this first year slowly but surely. Hopefully there'll be more interesting things happening in the future but i think that is going to do it for this episode so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.